Hello, so I am Leanne Barrable and I am a Devonshire Shepherdess. And I have been a shepherdess for over 20 years. I think I lambed my first sheep when I was about 12. And for the last <clears throat> 10 years since becoming a mum, I have really um, discovered a whole different way of, of looking at farming and um, how to enable our farm to become more profitable, but also for the farm to start working for us rather than us just slugging away on the farm. And so I'm a fifth generation farmer <clears throat> and I have one daughter and I farm alongside my parents and my husband. So we're all in partnership together. And back when I was at college, <coughs> I got a real passion to um, learn about soil and soil health. I had an amazing agronomist um, teacher who was actually an organic carrot farmer. And so she knew a lot about soil and I had no idea. I had no idea about anything to do with soil. So growing up, the main focus was always on the animals and the animal health uh, or lack of animal health um, would have been more the case when I was growing up. We had a lot of illnesses, particularly in our sheep flock. They weren't very healthy. Foot problems, um, worm problems, um, things that we have managed to improve, but it's not quite there 100%. Uh, we need to look at changing our sheep flock breed in a few years time um, when the timing is right. And we're also, um, <clears throat> because we're in this process of changing over from uh, not using artificial fertilizer anymore. It means that we're having to keep less stock at the moment and try and manage our ground in a different way. So we have got 200 acres here that was um, bought by my great great uncle uh, back in the 1900s, I think. And so we're, I'm incredibly privileged to live on this land. And um, I've where as I was growing up, I was never really aware of how privileged I was. Um, and I really did take it for granted. I completely took it for granted. And it wasn't until I went on my honeymoon to New Zealand and we were away for a month and I came home and I was just really grateful. And I started to be more grateful for the environment around me. That, of course, intensified in 2020 when we had the whole COVID situation happen. And I realised, wow, I am really lucky and I really should stop being such a moaner. Uh, farming, uh, being brought up in, in a farming family is really tough. It's really difficult because so much of my life has been around why can't we pay the bills or how are we going to pay the bills? Because we are so reliant on market fluctuations. We never actually know what price we're going to get for our products. And this puts us in a really um, unsecure position, uh, mentally and emotionally, as well as physically, like with our finances. And so being a child brought up in that has been really tough and it has had lasting effects on me. In fact, I would say it had a huge reason in why I physically broke down in when I was 24 through pregnancy. Um, the driving force I had in me to just keep working, 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 um, meant that my body could actually not carry my baby without being in complete turmoil. So I had a condition called SPD, which lasted nearly two and a half years. <clears throat> so I've got quite a story and I'm hoping to start sharing more about that on here because I, I believe we're really in a time where people need to know about what's going on on UK farms and how we can support each other, how we can grow good, healthy food, which, so for me, it comes from the soil, good, healthy soil, good, healthy plants, good, healthy animals, good, healthy humans. Um, and yeah, just how, as a farmer, I can help, you know, teach you any skills or share my knowledge um, in any way that might be of some use.